Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Sarah Flash and welcome to another installment of Game Quest. A little bit of a late mail day today, uh, came at about 5.30, but finally I've got a couple new additions to the PSP lineup that we're questing to complete. And uh, I gotta say, some of, this, uh, some of this stuff is very, very special, so let's get straight into it. Uh, first up, I think we'll start off with... Um, with the games that we've already got. I think that'll be a good way to go about it because I really do want to want to save uh, the piece de resistance uh, for the final the final game here. So let's start off with uh, perhaps the least shmuppy of the four that we're going to show you today. Uh, and this is a game that I got quite a long time ago, very, uh, very early into the PSP's life cycle. And that is Every Extend Extra by Q Games. And uh, every Extend Extra is more of a bomb em up, I'd say, than a shoot em up. The idea is, is that your ship flies around the screen and you have to detonate it, using up a life in your stock, to take out chains of enemies. And the larger the chain, the better your score. But there's also boss fights that require larger chains in order to defeat them, which is a pretty clever way to go about it. Uh, as you're going through, you'll also have to contend with enemy bullets, just like your standard shooting game. So uh, dodging and bombing are the main objects where you don't actually have any bullets per se. And man, the uh, the soundtrack in this game here is everything that you'd expect out of an early Q Games release. Uh, it was made at a time when Tetsuya Mitsuguchi was actually heading up Q Games and... Uh, and man, some of the some of the sounds that you'll hear in this game are far out. So uh, every X and extra, you can get this for next to nothing these days. And as an added bonus, uh, the U.S. version actually has the better cover art. So that's kind of a uh, kind of a neat little uh, little thing. But yeah, every X and extra, you should definitely check this one out. Next up, we have Space Invaders Extreme, and Space Invaders Extreme was made by Taito in uh, 2008 as part of the 30th anniversary of the Space Invaders series, which of course started off all the way back in 1978. So uh, it takes the Space Invaders formula and sort of turns it on its head quite a bit. It adds power-ups, much like in... Uh, Space Invaders 91, which we took a look at on Bullet Heaven. Uh, but it also has like a ton of bonus games that can be triggered uh, throughout the, the middle of any stage that you happen to be in. And uh, once again, it's got a really sort of solid soundtrack, but maybe it's a little too busy. I think that the backgrounds are very distracting in this particular version of the game. So I don't know. I think that's up to personal preference. But on the whole, this is definitely one of the better Space Invaders games that there are. And uh, and again, it's it's not that expensive. You can go out and you can get this uh, get this for yourself for a relatively small amount. Alright, now on to the new stuff. Uh, firstly first, first game we're going to talk about here is Star Soldier. And this is a, uh, a remake, well maybe a more of a reimagining of the original Star Soldier which was released to the Famicom in arcades all the way back in 1986. 
Um, and this is kind of like a, it's another anniversary style game. Uh, this particular game is 19 years after the original. It was released in 2005. And uh, basically, um, it's your standard top-down caravan-style shooter, uh, complete with updated graphics and some pretty sweet sound. Um, what's neat about this game is that the game is actually Tate exclusive, so you got to turn your PSP on its side to get the top-down uh, or the uh, the full vertical uh, aspect ratio of it. And, um, and I'll, I'll throw a picture up here. Uh, this is my the screen that I actually play my vertical games on. So uh, you know, I just tossed this onto there through the uh, component video and went to town. On the whole, really good stuff, um, and it's not particularly expensive. So I'm I'm really looking forward to covering this in Bullet Heaven, um, and I might actually do a double feature because I really do need to see if this is the same game that I've got on GameCube or not. Because for whatever reason, I don't remember a lot of the features that are in here. So uh, we'll have to see what's up with that. Okay, and finally, here it is. Uh, you may notice, right back on the door there, that there's an additional poster. That, uh, that's a poster that I made up for Halifax Scramble, and that's Darius Burst CS, which we covered on, uh, on Bullet Heaven uh, EX twice, and Bullet Heaven HD as well, uh, on Steam and PS4 and Vita. But um, what a lot of people don't know is that Darius Burst CS was actually derived from a PSP native game. And that game, simply put, is Darius Burst. Now, Darius Burst on the PSP surprised the hell out of me because it runs at 60 frames per second. It's got really, really good sound. Although some of the tracks that they had uh, that they have in this game for the the BGM are some of my least favorite from CS. I can look past that though. The gameplay here is super tight. Uh, the stages are totally different from CS, so if you're if you're a CS pro, uh, you can play this game and it will feel entirely different. Gameplay mechanics differ. You can't like flip your ship around to fire backwards, um, and you have to unlock a, a good chunk of uh, of stuff to use it. But uh, but man, color me impressed with this version of the game. You'll see, it's it's pretty great stuff. And that just about does it for this installment of Game Quest. Thank you very much for checking out this video. If you liked what you saw, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends on uh, various social nets that you might be a part of. And uh, 
and spread the word, especially if you dig PSP games and you enjoy collecting them, especially PSP shmups. Um, as of now, I think we're only missing three standalone titles, and two of them we've actually already got as a downloadable title on the PSP Go, which I might do a supplementary video for while we're waiting for new ones to come along. Uh, but other than that, it's all compilations, and they're pretty easy to get. So as we get them, of course, we'll come back here. Uh, until such a time, though, take care. This is Sarah Flash signing out.